All right, on question number five, um, what they're asking us to do is here's measure of angle five. And we have E, D, A, B, 50 degrees and 66 degrees. Now, um, when identifying these arcs, ladies and gentlemen, there's a couple rules that we discussed. And when we looked at our um, points that were inside of a circle, whenever we had an intersection inside of a circle. And if you guys remember, when we had the points inside of the circle, um, <sighs> measure of angle 5 is going to be your 66 and 55. OK. so. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, for this formula, for the formula, measure of angle 5, when this angle is interior, right? When this angle is inside, measure of angle 5 is equal to 1 half the sum of my arc DB plus EA. Right? It's the sum of these two arcs times 1 half. That's different than when the angle was outside, right? Or when the point was outside. That's when you do subtraction, large arc minus small arc. So now we're doing the sums. But the problem is, we don't know what these two arcs are. They only give us these arcs. So now what I can do, though, is I can find the angle over here. And let's call that angle 4. The question is, what is angle 5? But let's figure out what angle 4 is. So to figure out angle 4, I can say measure of angle 4 is equal to 1 half the sum of arc ED plus arc AB. And I'll show you why that's going to be helpful. If I can find these two arcs, if I can find this line, how does, how does angle 4 and 5 relate to each other? Those are what we call what? Vertical no, 4 and this one would be vertical. These are a pinier pair. Linear pair. Linear pair. They add up to 180. So if we can figure out what 4 is, we subtract it for 180 to find angle 5. So measure of angle 4 equals 1 half 66 plus 50. So that's going to be um, 116. <clears throat> Take 1 half of that is going to be 58. <clears throat> Everybody agree with me on that? Then, so if I can say that now, Malik, this is 58 degrees. If that's 58, this creates a straight line, which is going to add up to 180, which is one of the first things we discussed in this class. So if that's 58, this is going to be 180 minus 58 degrees. Right? So therefore, measure of angle 5 is going to equal 1. Uh, 22. Hi, Megan. How are you? Okay. You okay?